Hey crew, this is Happy Days, and here we go with another Terraria tutorial. Alright, so we've gotten back from the dungeon, and I'd just like to showcase one of the really cool uh, goblin items you can get. So, he's gone for a walk though by the looks of it. Where's he gone? He just got killed in the gob... No, there he is on the map. He's gone down for some reason. Okay, there was just a goblin army here, so maybe he was hiding from his brethren. Who knows? Anyway, so... Uh, basically, and I just bought one just before, the Tinkerer's Workshop uh, is a really cool item. It does cost 10 gold, um, but it's well worth it, and I'll show you why in just a moment. And we already bought the Rocket Boots before. So, so we're going to go up here and place it up, and I was just using the Rocket Boots then, which are really cool. They make getting around so much easier. And probably make my cloud in the bottle uh, not really useful anymore. So I can probably get rid of that. Anyway, so we'll put it down here. And for it to work, it's like a crafting bench, but you've got to have two items in your inventory that can go together. So this is our regeneration band that I've been wearing all the time. And earlier in the game, I found this band of star power, which is a mana one. So if you go to the inventory, both of these are a recipe in making a mana regeneration band. So you get the regen from this, but it changes from HP to mana, and the mana boost from this. So if you click that, you lose both your items, but you now get this improved uh, item slot. So I guess you can kind of upgrade your equipment. Uh, if you notice, as I scroll over the uh, accessories here, they've got different colored names and there's nine tiers I'm pretty sure of rarity in items so by upgrading it they become more rare. Now you'll notice again it still says that this is a material which means it can be updated again. I'm fairly sure that the regeneration band works with a shackle which is what I'm wearing. Yep it does. So my rash shackle which has been giving me just a tiny bit of defense. And my new regen band can actually be crafted into making magic casts. Now, if you look at what it says, it says restores mana when damaged, which is really cool. So we're gonna make those. And you can see again, it's still a material, which means it can be upgraded again. You can turn it into celestial cuffs. Um, you need to get a celestial, celestial, celestial horseshoe, um, which basically just drags mana stars in. Um, so now I've got an item that gives me 20 mana, gives me mana when I'm damaged, um, because I'm not going to be able to wear this meteor suit forever. I will have to upgrade my armor sooner or later, because it's pretty weak uh, for later in the game. So now this is good for end game bosses because you do get hit a lot and it means you can spam your mana weapons um, whilst getting mana all the time. So there you go, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so that's basically how the Tinkerer's Bench works. So as you can see the aglet here is a material and that actually is part of a recipe with our Spectre Boots. So I put the Rocket Boots with our Hermes Boots and it turned into Spectre Boots. So you get the sprinting speed and the flying ability of both boots together. And if I go have a little walk over to the guide here, if you put this boot into here, it tells you what it can turn into. So it can be upgraded to lightning boots, which means you can run even faster again. So I've got the spectre boots, I've got an aglet, I need to find an anklet of the wind next. So then all three of those will turn into lightning boots. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, the uh, Goblin Tinkerer is just an awesome upgrade that you can get. Um, he's one of the really useful NPCs. And what you can also do is reforge your items. So if you put them in there, and I can't remember if I showed this in another video, 
and I just can't afford it at the moment, but this one has one plus one percent damage. If I pay that price, I've got a chance to get another buff on there. Not in addition to this, it'll just re-roll it. So if you've got a favorite item, you can try and upgrade it, which is really cool. I like it. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, I'm just gonna keep the cloud in a bottle equipped because it improves my defense, um, but I don't really need it for the double jump anymore. So it me means you can really upgrade your accessories as you get later in the game. Uh, so yeah, cool. So I'm gonna go back to the dungeon next and try and get some more gold keys. There's a weapon I wanna get in there called the handgun. That's in one of the chests. And basically it's a quick pistol and it can be upgraded to a gun called the Phoenix Blaster, which is really useful for the next boss. So after I've done some uh, grinding, uh, I'll do another video on upgrading that. And then we'll go fight the Wall of Flesh, which is the last boss of the normal mode of Terraria. And then we move up to the hard mode or the hardcore mode. So yeah. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this. And uh, I'll see you next video. All right, stay happy. Bye.